So I'm going to read an excerpt from an essay that's nearly complete. It should be going up on the uh, Nailed website. Next month is part of an ongoing series under the title Queer God Worship. This is installment number six, The Bad Penny, taking up somewhere in the middle, and I'm not going to tell you what you missed, so sorry. <laughs> when I entered my granddad's room at the hospital, the lights were dim. My granny sat at the side of his bed, her hand on the blanket beside the lump of his body, and he just lay there, propped up, staring at me. I said, how's it going? And he stared. I said, you feeling any better? He kept staring like I wasn't there. But I was. I was there, and he was there, completely aware. He pulled his arm from beneath the blanket and gripped granny's hand and turned to her and said, the bad penny always returns, eh, Uncle? And Granny looked at me, shook her head, and her eyes, leaving. And I turned and walked out. And later that evening, a series of strokes took him, and in the morning, my mom drove Eric to the Greyhound station, and I stayed behind in Corvallis, and wore the brown suit I buried my dad in. The brown suit I later wore in my senior class pictures, I wore that suit for the very last time. And three years before we had tried to dig a well together. This was before my dad died. It was him and me and granddad hand digging a well so we wouldn't have to pay the son of a pitching county through the nose for water for the lawn. And they loved that lawn. It was at least four inches thick and so green that it looked blue and when you stepped on it when he wasn't looking. It took your footprint like a carpet of crushed velvet moss in the deepest of old man forests. They let me mow it for him once with a snapper when I was 13 or 14 and I fucked it up so bad it took nearly a year for the yellow circles where I let the blade spin for just a second too long to go all the way back to crushed velvet of the darkest blue green. Him and me and my dad out there hand digging a well through Missoula flood Willamette Valley clay with rented equipment. <laughs> hand digging a well is a lot like post holding for fence posts, only you keep going in the same hole over and over again. There's a chain attached to the blades of the digging apparatus, and you add extensions to the handles, you feed it into the hole until you hit the clay way down at the bottom. You ram the blades in as deep as you can from all the way up there at the surface, and then yank on the chain to pull the blades together. And then together you hand over hand it all the way back up, dump the load, and start over again. We started shortly after dawn each day, trying to maximize the cool of the morning. My dad, 36 years old and pushing 450, would usually crap out about halfway through the afternoon. But Granddad and I would keep at it until supper and then get back at it while the light was still good. And by the end of the third day, my 15-year-old back was killing me. The hole was maybe 12 inches across, and we dug down through more than 75 feet of clay, just enough clay mixed with loose rock to give us a little bit of hope that at some point we'd hit the bottom. And it was full twilight on the third day when we pulled the last load up together. And I told Granddad that I was hitting the showers and he grunted something under his breath and started feeding the digger back down into the hole. 70 years old, six foot three, 230 pounds, with a pencil thin mustache, a filthy white beater, boots, green trousers, brown belt, burning, assless camel jammed in the corner of his mouth, square gold rimmed glasses, the few remaining hairs plastered back against his skull. Abandoned by both his son-in-law and his only grandson to finish digging the goddamn hole himself. And I passed my dad at his usual spot on the couch, sleep, watching the TV, and aroused and asked me what was going on out there. And I told him Granddad was still at it, but I was in the showers. And he sighed, levered himself up off the couch with the arm of the thing, and stomped off toward the backyard. When I came out of the shower, they were shouting for everyone to come out, come quick, they yelled. 
and there in a small pile next to the hole, next to the massive pile of clay that we let accumulate after my dad had called it quits in the late afternoon, there was a quantity of wet rock. They were slapping each other on the back. We've done it. And just to prove it, we ran the digger down again together, the three of us, and pulled up one more load of glistening gravel. We went to bed that night exhausted, but happy with each other, with ourselves. And when I woke up in the morning, the hole had caved in. I helped my granddad load the rented equipment, and we dragged it back to the rental place. Didn't say a word. And the two of us never tried to do anything again. Thank you.